that is a floral unit that is filter regulator lubricator unit it's a combination we make it as a floral unit simple the compressed air is passed filtered and then regulated to a specific pressure and need to pass through a lubricator for lubricating the oil usually filter regulator lubricator were placed in that line to air circuit but more often they are used in the form of combined unit this combination of filter regulator and lubricator is called a floral unit so this is the unit where motor compressor emulsion made of lubricating oil and the condensate the pressure vessel with stored compressed air is the things the polluted compressed air oil water and the solid water in the filter clean dehydrated compressed air 97 percentage with pressure variations then regulator clean dehydrated compressed air regulated at desired pressure for spray guns put packings etc then lubricator so clean dehydrator and regulator lubricator compressed air for cylinders valves tools and motors etc so these are the things then mufflers are pneumatic silencer the function of muffler is is used to reduce the noise caused by a rapidly exhausting air stream flowing into the atmospheric noise in air system may cause nervous tension mental fatigue lack of concentration and dissatisfaction among the operators the exhaust air stream enters one end and passes out at another end passing through a series of baffles these baffles perforated with a large number of small holes the outer shell acts as a barrier and helps guide the stream towards exit to the atmosphere air control valve air control valves used to control the pressure flow rate and the direction of air in pneumatic circuits pressure regulators the purpose of pressure regulator is to set the working pressure of a particular circuit sometimes it is installed with a circuit to provide two or more different pressure levels for separation portions of the unit the desired pressure is established by a key handle which exerts a compressive force on the spring the spring transmits a force to the diaphragm which regulates the opening and closing of the control valve this regulates the air flow rate to establish desired downstream pressure check valve the purpose of check valve is to allow free flow of compressed air in one direction only and to prevent flow in opposite direction when the flow is in forward direction the compressed air pushes the disc seal and allows free flow if flow is attempted in opposite direction the seal is in closed condition and there is no flow is permitted then shuttle valve also known as double check valve shuttle valve consists of two inlet ports and outlet port if the pressure in the right inlet port is greater than the left screw closes the left port when the pressure at the left inlet port becomes greater than the right the spool moves and closes the right port and allows flow through the left port direction control valves its purpose is to control the direction of flow of pneumatic fluids DCVs that is directional control valves are used to start stop regulate the direction of air flow the DCVs are classified based on the construction as puppet valve 
valves, three way valves, four way valves based on the valve classifications. The two way valves basically one it is on off type valve similar to water phased which allows the flow or stops the flow annually. A normally open two way valve allows flow in its normal position and restricts when it's actuator. A normally closed valve restricts flow in its normal position and allows flow when actuator. Three way valves. A three way valve has three ports inlet, exhaust, and cylinder port. One flow port is connected to the any of the other two ports. This valve may be used to pressurize one port and exhaust the other port. These valves can be used as a pilot relay to operate the other valves. Four way valves. In four way valve, inlet ports is connected to cylinder port A and cylinder port B is connected to exhaust port. When the valve is actuated, they become unseated and inlet port is connected to cylinder port B and cylinder port A is connected to exhaust port. Quick check valve. The purpose of this valve is to exhaust the cylinder to the atmosphere quickly. Basically, spring returns single acting pneumatic cylinder to increase the speed. The principle behind the valves by reducing the resistance to flow of air. The air can be exhausted to atmosphere quickly. It consists of movable disc and three ports, namely inlet port, exhaust port, and cylinder port. When the air flowing to the cylinder from the DCV is applied at port P, then the movable disc converts the exhaust port or as the compressed air passes from port P to port A. When the DCV is switched to its next position, the air from the cylinder port A pushes the movable disc to mask the inlet port P, whereby the air is exhausted through the exhaust port R immediately. Thus, the resistance to piston movement is reduced considerably and the speed of the system. This flow control valve. The purpose of flow control valve is to regulate the volumetric flow of compressed air to different parts of the pneumatic system. The spring loader disc allows the free flow in one direction and adjustable or controlled flow in the opposite direction. A tapered brass stem controls the flow adjust by controlling the flow through the cross hole disc in the disc.